It's Robin Liz in the morning, his radio. I remember I used to have the iPod Shuffle, the iPod Touch, the iPod Nano, which I didn't like. Had all the iPods back in the day, right? And then they went away. And I didn't really, I mean, I guess I missed it to a certain degree. They didn't really go away. We just added a phone to them. Well, yeah, but it's not the same. You know how, okay, let's say you had the, was it the iPod Touch that had the circle in the middle, and as you scrolled to find the song that you wanted, you could feel the... That was the original iPod. Okay. Yeah. So, that's coming back, sort of. There is a new app that is coming out, and it's going to make it feel, make your phone, if you have an iPhone, not if you have one of those other things, but if you have an iPhone, it's going to make it feel like the old iPod. It's called Retropod. That's uh-huh. the name of the app. Okay. So it's, I think it's kind of cool if you if you want to go all old school with it, kind of retro. So it, what yeah. apps does it integrate? Just it, Apple Music? Only your Apple library. Because okay. you can't use it for any kind of streaming you service. You can't do Spotify. No. You're just only Apple Music for it's, it. Come on, y'all. It's Apple. Yeah, They're so? not going to make it compatible with anything if else. If they were smart, they would. I don't know, because when they do that, it almost, to me, makes it where you have to have their product. Like, you could, this is the coolest thing ever. But is Apple putting out the app, or is somebody else putting out the app? Because if like, somebody else puts out the app, they might integrate, like, Spotify. I feel like there's cahoots somewhere. Oh, there's cahoots? I feel like we're going to come out with this. You just send us some money.